Today's video is presented in partnership with Hampson Auctions, one of the UK's leading classic, performance and supercar auction houses. Their next sale takes place on the 24th of November at the magnificent Bowlesworth Castle in Cheshire. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So you join us on I believe our third behind the video video. And today we're off to Essex to film a Ferrari 360 that's been heavily modified to challenge Stradale standard or specification and also a DB9, an Aston Martin DB9. So we're filming two cars today. So it was a really early start because we're traveling all the way to Essex and when we get to Essex, we've got to have enough time to film two cars. So we're up at five o'clock this morning. And we're hoping to arrive at the end car owner's house around nine o'clock in the morning probably around 20 past half past in reality because we've got a lot of traffic works um, on the way there I'm stuck in traffic at the moment um, road works as usual which reduce your speed limit down to 50 miles an hour etc etc and then you've got average cameras a lot on the way to to Essex so it is what it is um, but we use Waze for all our navigation so that shows us where all that is anyway. So yeah, two, two very interesting cars, both been modified. I'll tell you more about the DB9 later on. Um, but the 360 heavily modified up to pretty much challenge Stradale specification. So that's an interesting one. I'll put a link in the description below to the main long form video, which is the proper review that we will have already performed when you see this video, because these behind the video videos always drop after the long form video as a support video. So you'll join us when we arrive at, in Essex at the end destination um, to collect the two cars. So we've arrived now at the end location. We've got the DB9 here and the 360 outside. We're going to take it to Hanfield Reservoir, which is where we've got our circuit where we'll be doing the actual driving section of the, of the review. Um, we're going to do the 360 first of all, but we're taking both cars, the DB9 and the 360 to the reserve, and then we'll do the 360 first, and then we'll cover off the DB9. So catch us later when we're in the 360. We just stopped off at a service station to get ourselves a coffee. And being London, of course, it's bloody manic here. This is just like a mini services off of one of the dual carriageways. So we're here with a 360 and the DB9. Just partway stop before we go up to our place where we've got our triangle for our driving section. So driving the 360 modified to challenge the Dali specification. This has got the challenge to Dali exhaust. Just listen to this exhaust howl. And it's got the pipes fully open, it's got the valves fully open. sports cats. Thank you. 
the 360 spider which is parked over there over there and we're just about to start with the dv9 guys just doing some preparations for that if you were looking to purchase your first supercar or add a car to your collection rich reviews has already helped multiple owners secure their dream supercar we have a mix and match of services to help take the pain away to ensure a happy memorable purchase away from the stress that can be caused by car research and dealing negotiations our mix and match of services include telephone support calls, pre-purchase inspection and car collection video. For more information, please contact me via a message in the comments below or at the following email address. Now back to the video. So we just finished filming the DB9. So that's the end of our day now. So we've been up since five o'clock this morning and it's now, I'm not sure what the time is to be honest. 3.58. And now it's 3.58. So coming up to four o'clock. So I thought it was actually later than that, but it's been a long day and we haven't broken for lunch. So we stopped off and got some snacks at the garage before we came down here to Hanningfield Reservoir. And now we're on our way back. So a full on day reviewing the Ferrari 360 and the Aston Martin DB9, but very productive day. And we really hope you enjoy the videos. We'll link across to those videos in the description below. Um, from this behind the video scenes if you like or behind the scenes video and Hope you enjoy those two videos. Well before you end off. What's your What's your take on both cars? What was your favorite? Cause you know because we, we never actually did a comparison video We just did two completely separate videos. Well, you can't really compare them because that's the Martin TV 90 even though it's marketed as a sports car and it's very much driven like a sports car in certain films like the James Bond films it isn't, it's a Grand Tourer. Whereas of course, the 360 is very much a supercar, especially a Ferrari 360 that's been uplifted to challenge to our specifications. So you can't really compare the two. You've got a sports car and you've got a Grand Tourer. And yeah, a Grand Tourer that looks like a sports car, but really it is a mild country, it is a Grand Tourer. Um, and it's a great two car garage because you've got pretty much the best of both worlds. You've got the supercar for the sporty driving and you've got the, the uh, Grand Tourer for the, for the cruising capability for the mileage crunching, which is pretty much a perfect two car garage, really. You couldn't want for more. The DB9 is a lovely comfy car to drive, but you've got to drive it like a Grand Tourer. And the Ferrari 360, you can drive it more sedately, but obviously it's got supercar suspension. So it's going to be like a supercar and it's going to be a lot more sporty and less compromising. Yeah, I mean, this feels like a pillow and the 360 feels like lying on two bricks in comparison. Um, two bricks with a screaming V8 in the back of it, but I mean, that's you just getting out of this and getting into the 360 because we drove here in, in this. Um, we drove here in the 360. No, well, I drove here first. I was the passenger, passenger in this, and then I got into the 360. And you just, it's, you, they couldn't be a, any more different, really. It's like, get it, it's like you just, you, you feel this is a, this is so numb and then you get into that and you just feel everything everything through the chassis is all and it's you get into it and it's immediately it's, the whole thing's vibrating and it just feels like that feels like a race car compared to this and it, and it sounds like one as well that exhaust is, is up there with probably the best sounding car we've ever filmed i'd say obviously in line with the with the straight actual five, challenge five, five, finale eight. and the and the, the 458 yeah the straight like 458 yeah and the F12. I mean, as we've filmed a lot of great sounding cars. It's but. very, it's very rare to get a 360 that's been uplifted like that has to the Challenge Stradale specification, both in the uh, engine ECU mapping, the single tr single clutch transmission um, ECU mapping, and of course the upgrades that were made. Uh, of course, the upgrades that have been made to the exhaust system because it's got um, a Challenge Stradale exhaust system with sports cats on it, Capristo sports cats. So it's been substantially uplifted to challenge the Dow specification. And then of course you've got the external bodywork. It's got the challenge to Dow front bumper, challenge to Dow rear bumper and side skirts as well. So it's very impressive. And you, when you consider a 360, a standard 360 is around 60,000 pounds. And those upgrades and those upgrades were around 15 to 20,000 pounds. So for around 80,000 pounds, 
you can pretty much get a standard 360 uplifted to challenge the dial specification which is impressive when you consider that a good challenge to dial is around 230,000 pounds in the UK now so it's a 150 grand difference close out the video just got home around 220 miles driving in the Amira and around 350 miles all through with the three cars with the Amira driving it there and back with the Ferrari 360 and with the Aston Martin DB9 it's been a long day up at five o'clock this morning it's now half past ten so a very long day just put the Lotus to bed and I think it's about time I got to bed thanks a lot for watching guys hope you've enjoyed this behind the video behind the scenes video and we'll catch you in the next video